The nice weather outside did not prevent members of SOS Niagara from walking indoors for their annual fundraising event. Today we're having our fifth annual walk and roll uh, is for the March of Dimes Canada and it's to raise awareness and funds for stroke survivors and the March of Dimes provides programs for stroke survivors and their caregivers. The survivors have been gathering pledges for the last couple months and then we gather here and we walk inside the mall so that, you know, and they can walk, roll, uh, some are in walkers, some are in wheelchairs, some are scooters, and so they just, it gets them out, gets them out into the public, and gets them so that they have a, you know, a, a collegial attitude as they walk. How is March of Dimes involved with today's walk? Stroke Recovery Canada uh, is under our March of Dimes umbrella, and we help stroke survivors and polio survivors um, with peer-led uh, groups and these types of fundraisers. What are your thoughts on today's event? I'm very excited. I was in Hamilton's this morning and I'm here today. I'm very, very excited. This is a large fundraiser for March of Dimes and for the actual peer groups themselves. While March of Dimes assists people with varying types of disabilities, portions of funds raised will primarily benefit SOS Niagara. One of the things that we emphasize is caregivers. Everybody looks after the stroke survivor, but the caregiver in a lot of some cases it's 24 7 and uh, they need support so at our regular monthly meetings after we conduct or or have uh, whatever is going on and it may be a speaker at that particular meeting but we try to break into separate groups so that the caregivers can express their concerns and fears and doubts and exchange uh, these thoughts with other people who've maybe experienced it before. And the survivors are in another group and they're, they're talking about their concerns. So there is that separation, which is very important. And how has SOS Niagara helped you? I wouldn't be here today if, uh, if it weren't for them. Because I, I live alone, I'm a widow. Um, you need the comradeship. Um, I've met a lot of great people that we're really good friends now. We go to the meetings and we all hug and laugh and carry on and you know they're just a good bunch of friends. We walk together, we go places together. Um, it's a great group of people. Rachel Dove is the ambassador for the local walk and roll. At the age of 21 she suffered a stroke which delayed her dreams of representing Canada as an Olympic snowboarder. I was going to go to 2014 and I was trying to but um, I didn't but after the stroke I thought I want to go back to the Olympics like in 2014 bam but no um, so I have a long recovery with like the movements and um, I'm scared, but um, a few weeks ago, I went snowboarding and I said, I have to nail it, and it's awesome. So next year, I'll be able to bigger stuff. You're a caregiver yourself of someone who's had a stroke. What is involved in that? Uh, I'm a caregiver for my wife. She suffered three strokes, and it is it's a lifelong commitment after the stroke. So what you're looking at is you are looking at you know, watching medications, uh, diet, exercise, uh, basically just keeping them motivated and keeping them, you know, so we, our motto is never give up. And that's what the, the, the role of the caregiver is to make sure that the survivor never gives up. The main focus for today's walk and roll was to raise funds and awareness for SOS Niagara. Reporting for The Source, I'm Brendan Sylvia.